the ball? Yeah. Artifact effect. Um, super EXP boost, SP cooking. Allows you to carry over library entries to New Game Plus. Yeah, I know that. Maybe that was the mining one? Okay, so we're gonna go back here. Talk to him, get my shit. Tell me what's going on with my dad leaving that letter. Yes, we did. Hey. Uh, I guess. <sighs> no way. No one told me. Well, of course. Zephyr's ring. Now, what the hell is that gonna do? Oh, that's nice. And Don bracelets. Those are probably his final weapon. That's probably his final uh, thing there. So, we'll go over to Law. Oh, literally. Oh, it's the fist that he had, but it's his mom's. Mm -hmm. Like the big one he had at the start of the game. Zephyr's ring. Oh, that's a skill? Parental love? Okay. I don't know what it does. You okay, Law? You seem kind of quiet. Of course I am. I'm fine. It just feels a little weird returning home now that my dad's not here, I guess. Uh, oh, 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 man, sorry. Yeah. I didn't mean to bum you out, too. I just meant to bum myself out. It's okay. So I guess that means you'll be visiting your dad's grave while you're here. <sighs> right, Law? His grave? What are you, nuts? There is no grave. The Reno would only destroy it the moment they found it. Back before Calaglia was liberated, dead slaves would be dumped in mass burial sites. Either that or thrown on top of a bonfire. We got used to cremating our own to deny them the pleasure. Then we'd sprinkle the ashes from high up as a way of returning them to the motherland. It's all we could do. That's the ceremony we had when my mom died, too. But that was back then, right? Kalakli is liberated now. There's nothing to stop you from raising a true grave anymore. I suppose you've got a point. Once you've been doing something for generations, though, it sort of begins to take root. It's a tradition of its own now. My dad wouldn't want that anyway. Cheap and simple, he'd say. Besides, I can't treat him differently than my mom. They might not end up meeting on the other side. I hadn't thought of it like that. Wow, imagine. The two of them reunited. Back home where they belong. They're probably watching over us right now. At one with great Dana. <laughs> There's something almost poetic about it. That's why I can't afford to screw up. If I know my pops, something as paltry as death won't stop him from coming to box my ears. Still, better than being left alone, I guess. Better than never knowing. You hear that, Dad? I'll make you proud. You'll see. Most of these must be for endgame stuff now. Okay, so I got that, and then there's whatever the fuck is in here. So you go into the final battle with your best gear? Oh, of course. Now I gotta go to the third floor. So I think that's his final weapon.
No, oh, that was the fourth floor. Wait a second, I might as well do this while I'm here. Because I know there is an owl here. Should be sitting on the throne. There he is. I think Hoodle senses something. It's up. What? I already have crowns. Battle this shall be a shield. For the Legend of Valkyrie. It's another game. Okay, they're all a Pac-Man book. Pac-Man. Soul Calibur. So let's see. What was the artifact one? So. Did it get. No, I don't think it gave me anything else, did it? Oh, it did too. Carry over records allows you to carry over the library entries to New Game Plus. And then I just got the one to carry over my weapons and equipment. Nice. And says. Love how they always pay homage to their other games. Pretty sweet. I should look up where I find the owls. I need the owls. It's all the ones at the End part. There we go. Oh my god, it's you. Yates. 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 Thirty-four, I think, because I just got two more. I knew I'd have the ingredients for that, I always do. 35 is in the prison tower. <laughs> R-I-V-I-L-L-E. Let's see here. Oh, let me just check. That's not what I meant. It is this one. Play records. Where are we at? Owls. We're at 31 astral flowers? Yeah, I'm at 34. Yeah, but you don't know which 34? Uh, I have all of them up until, like, the final ones, but I don't know if that's the bottom of the list or not. I had just gotten um, <coughs> the one one of the castles and the other one. I'm trying to remember this. The... Which castle? Hey. I shall check momentarily. The glutton code. I believe that's another artifact. We avoided getting roasted in that. Um. Yeah, you just got the shield made artifact. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And then I also got that weird ball artifact. What was the... Yeah, the... Um, Ring. What was it called? Ball. Yeah, Vivid Sphere. What we... What was the next one? Prison Tower? Yeah. Where is it at? Uh, 
in the hidden chamber. Oh, okay. It... Bash one should be simple. Really uses something to cap this off. So, off. So of course. Hey, Rinwa, tell me about your parents. What were they like? They were kind. That's the part I like to remember. They could also be strict, though, especially when it came to magic. I never understood why I had to work so hard to learn magic. Why we couldn't just be done with it and live openly like everyone else. Needless to say, that didn't go over well. Of course, if I'd had known that one day I'd be doing this, I would have taken my studies more seriously. Then you'd be what all powerful. Same deal. Run through the mill. Told constantly that training was the only way to survive in a world like this. It got bad enough that I ended up running away and siding with the Renans of all people. And now, I've got that training to thank for being alive. I know how that feels. The first time we met, you risked using your magic to stop me from kicking my dad's ass. You could have done anything else. You could have ignored it. So, why? Because. Yeah, I guess... Something about Zephyr reminded me of my own father. You don't say. So, did your pops and mine look a lot like each other? Not really. Not at all, in fact. I don't know how to explain it. I just felt a resemblance, I guess. <laughs> wow. Well, I won't pretend I understand, but I'm glad. Your dad must have been a great guy. Oh, that's really nice. Him? Uh, it's um. Maybe it's the uh, soaking up all the sound. Sword Art Online. Kirito. Always feels mysterious to me. Solemn almost. When it comes to solemnity, I'd say our own Artelina Palace is no slouch. I won't argue with you there. Still, that azure tint of the shadows on the silvery white snow, it has a certain indescribable quality. Indeed. Could be the same voice actor. It was boorish of me to even suggest such a comparison. All I know is it's freaking cold. Still, more pleasant now that the locals aren't quite as frosty towards us. Hm. Well, excuse me if I'm too frosty for your warm self. <laughs> oh, come on. You know I didn't mean you. Besides, really, I'm the one who... How about we stop getting hung up on the past for a change? Take what you've learned and put it to use in the future instead. An unexamined past can be just as dangerous in its own right. Better that than obsessing over it like a certain someone I know. Oh, Kisara doesn't mince her words, um, does she? Sort of. I could say the same thing about one or two of the other women around here. Tell me about it. I think I'll refrain from commenting on this one. Come Who on, Al. Some dried fish for you. You want some? Who huh. get that? Doesn't some tasty red meat sound better, boy? Trying to coax him away with treats. Get your own adorable sidekick if you're so desperate for one. <laughs> he appears to enjoy being the center of attention. Funny how things change. He and Rinwell used to be joined at the hip, or shoulder to talon. It's not just Hoodle who's become more trusting. Isn't that so, Rinwell? They do say pets and their owners act alike. I suppose since we've been together, I've done my share of coming out of my own shell, too. Well, then, I guess with you and Hoodle, that makes us all one big, happy family. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm deep in thought, Hoodle will come over and sit next to me. I only wish I could actually pet him. Oh, you will someday. You won't believe how soft he is. Wish I had that problem. <laughs> I'm lucky if I can so much as look at old feather brain without him trying to claw me to ribbons. Really? He seems tame enough around everyone else. Maybe it's just Hoodle's way of establishing dominance? That's dogs, not yeah, owls. Okay. What's going on when Hoodle pecks at you? Uh, I don't know. Like when I'm talking to Rinwell, it's like he's trying to muscle me out or something. Unless... Wait, you don't suppose I make him jealous? Come again? <laughs> Ah, get off of me, you insecure fluff ball! <laughs> <laughs> I rather think they make a good comedic pairing.
Okay. Wait, that was... Yeah. Straight up here. Looks like she really works out. I'm not talking. <laughs> Look about her muscles, you dummy. Oh, there you are. You're half, half and half. <laughs> A broken machine gun used to repel hordes of demon-like creatures. This firearm was taking great damage. What game is this going to be from? What a wonderful treasure. You're a duke? Never heard of that. The next one is Delphair's Castle. Let's Carry over money and items. This one first. Finish that quest Looks that like I've had since I got win well. I sense a poor soul who is in dire need. Yes. <laughs> hey, got it. All right. Let's go, brave new world. Take me, Aladdin. What is it? Uh, I, what? Of course not. Oh. We'll go first, you men after. I think not. No one takes the first bath from me. Oh boy, here we go. Okay, okay. Let's settle this fair and square with rock, paper, scissors. Oh Thou god. Chorus will never be bested. <laughs> okay, hot sp Oh, now you're on board. Fan service. You're not undressing, Dohalim? Hmm? Oh, yes. I'm used to having an attendant handle such things. Could I trouble you to undress me? <laughs> Us? No way! Why the hell am I doing this? Lift your leg, would you, Dohalim? Thank you. There you go, Riley. Just what you were hoping for. <laughs> this is a weird side quest. Does feel kind of nice. <sighs> it was certainly worth the trip. I feel more tired than ever, though. Uh, Dohalim? What was that for? Hmm? Oh, it's to have the servant man bring me a drink, of course. Is drowning other guests allowed in this place? <laughs> This is nice. Still, it's a little lukewarm. The <laughs> temperature? Well, I find it just right. If anything, it's too hot. Really? It's not hot enough for me. Be right back. I'm gonna borrow the blazing sword. Oh my Sheila. god. Man, he's gotta be joking. Oh no. Shion, I need a favor. Alfin, you, you're. Yeah! <laughs> mm -hmm. What? Uh, but, but I. I feel like Riley hacked my game. Uh. That was a fine bath indeed. 
Yeah, we should do that again sometime. Some walls are better left standing. <laughs> yeah. Sure, he's not just trying to. Yeah. Okay. Looks like we. Oh, I can't wait. No peeking, okay? Ha, you win. <laughs> Take all the time you like. <laughs> Oh, Hoodle gets his own bath. <sighs> I feel alive again. Now for this the reverse. The of us. Really though, this is nice. I never imagined I'd get to have a group bath with you girls. Gosh, Eon, your skin's so flawless. How do you do it? <laughs> you must tell us your secret. Oh, thanks, girls. It looks so silky smooth. Oh, my God. I want to reach out and touch it. Hey, God. hands off, remember? Huh? You're so <laughs> muscular, Kisara. I'll pretend I didn't <laughs> hear that, Rinwell. Of course, it law. would be law. <laughs> what? There are some walls that boys are meant to surmount. Right. Only by surmounting said walls does a boy become a man. Oh my god. Why? I can assist with that. Oh my god. Are you game? Fuck. Are you sure you want to do that? Here comes the voice of reason. This is an important right of manhood, right? If you say so. <laughs> He's just like, watch what happens. That's not a bad thing. You wouldn't deny me the chance to be a man, would you? Indeed. Oh, oh, oh he's getting knocked down. Flourish, would you? Alvin's pretty cool, but he can be kind of dense sometimes. Well, he went a while not feeling any pain. You can't deny you're a match, Xion. Yeah, totally. <laughs> what was that for, Rinwell? The dirty minded devils, that's what. What? <laughs> Alfin, what happened to you all? I had no part in any of it. You've got to believe me. That was a fantastic bath. Yes, we should all come back sometime. Uh, us too. Please. Well, I suppose some walls are better left unmounted. <laughs> Two discussing relics Probably. Again? Then it's a promise. Indeed it is. Oh no. Law, what are you doing? Huh? Oh, Chisara. It's nothing. It's just those two are being sneaky over there. I heard something about a promise. A promise? If it has to do with relics, then what? Wait. 
You don't think they're gonna ditch us to become treasure hunters, do you? <laughs> I really doubt that. You never know. He's pretty damn crazy for those relics of his. Yeah, that's true. It didn't make things difficult for you if they just up and disappeared on us, right? Yeah, that caused some problems. We've got to do something to stop them. Oh my god. Hmm. Hey, what if we collected all of the relics ourselves? That's it! Then they wouldn't have to go anywhere! We might not be able to hear them talk like he can, but we can still search for them anywhere that looks likely. Yeah, between the two of us, I'm sure we won't miss a single one. Speaking of which, why are you so concerned about them taking off? Huh? Well, I, uh, you see... <laughs> this is going to be so great! Indeed. Once we're finished, we can hold it in the palace. A, A Danon, Danon Relic, Relic exhibition. exhibition! I'll let you serve as our exhibit guide, Renwell. Right! I'll study up so I can answer any question they throw at me. And, uh, if you could, please ensure that Hoodle stays far, far away from the exhibits. Who? Huh? That treasure. What a sweet-sounding ring it has. Uh, you really think so? Nope, not what I meant. Clerk uniform. Fan service for everyone. <laughs> Okie dokie. That's the plan. It's gonna be the end boss fight. That's that's what's gonna happen. Dohalim pancakes. Huh? Huh. Sure is good to be back in the pleasant climes of Menencia, <laughs> especially after the extremes of some of the other regions we visited. Definitely, your country is beautiful. You do me an honor. However, this place was never mine to own. I didn't mean it that way, though. I guess technically you weren't born here either. Native or not, that doesn't change the feelings you had for the place. If I were you, I'd try to take a little pride in people's compliments. Allow myself to feel pride, huh? And that sounds like no easy task. Nothing sounds easy when you overthink things the way you do. It must be 